This video demonstrates how to customize session handling, customize user data and add verifications. When we left off from the record and replay video, there were several errors appearing in the TriScript tool log and an application error occurred saying it timed out. The ShopIt application is designed to present these errors specifically to demonstrate the process of using the customized session handling wizard. Session IDs are strings of random data used by the server to track the multiple users it is communicating with. When we recorded the script, we also recorded the session ID in use at that time. However, that is no longer valid and this is why the error is occurring now. To access the wizard, click on Customize Session Handling and choose Find Differences. A message will appear asking if you want to load the recorded true log. Click Yes. This wizard will perform a comparison between the record and replay true logs to identify session ID candidates. Choose Whole Pages and also select the button to keep the true logs synchronized. When on the Source Differences tab, click through the true log dialogs. Note where it says no differences were found in the replayed data and the recorded data. Continue to step through. Here we can see that a session ID candidate had been found. This is the value on record compared with what was replayed. The comparison is performed on server response data. Right click and choose Customize Session Handling and the wizard will appear. The parsing function wizard has already filled in the required data, but you can choose your own variable name and whether you want to print or write out the value after it is parsed. You also see how many occurrences are found in the script. And lastly, whether you want to replace all occurrences with the variable. Click OK and the script will be modified automatically. Now run another try script and notice it replays successfully this time. The next item we will look at is how to post different data to the server. You'll notice that we are still sending the same data that we did during record and this is not very lifelike. So let's customize the user's data. We will perform these steps on the user's name, which was user1 during record. Click on Customize User Data and choose Customize User Input Data in HTML Forms. This wizard will highlight in red all the fields where we can customize the value being entered. When we hover over, it highlights the code where the form value exists. Right click and choose Customize Value to launch the wizard. Select Create New Parameter and Parameter from Multicolumn Data File. In the file name drop down, choose Login. Select the first column and choose Next. We can either choose to pick up rows sequentially or randomly and to pick up new data per transaction or per test. Choose Random and click Finish. The script will automatically be modified. Now run another try script and notice the user's name has changed. Next, we can look at verifications. The purpose of verifications is to check on an item in the replay and check if it has a specific value. To check that the transaction is successful, we will verify the text thank you very much. This will only appear when the order is complete. Select the text you want to verify, right click and choose verify selected text from the menu. The verification wizard allows you to define how the verification behaves. We are setting a constant value and checking that it appears exactly once on the page. And if it doesn't appear, we want our function to return an error. Click OK and the script will be updated. Then run the try script to see the results of the verification. When a verification is successful, it appears in blue in the true log. If we go to this page, we can see that the correct text has appeared. Thanks for watching.